E drop. I've kept my wee dropper on and uh, put on a bigger tube fly, you know, being special on the tail end. Uh, I'll, I'll go in here and fish it down. There's a bit of height in the water. It's dropped back from where it was yesterday, but it's still a wee bit of colour, hence uh, the bigger fly. So, just see if there's anything with my name on it. Just come to the best take and spot round about the where the bush is from here to maybe 10 yards below it. But you do get fish all over this pool. It doesn't look very much. It's, it has got a wee bit of depth. And there are some big fish over the years come out of here. Thumping at the fly there. Wandered up to the upwood. Just uh, still a bit peaty, stained, which means there's a wee bit of acid in the water that puts the fish off a bit. But uh, not them all. There is the odd one that'll hopefully grab the fly. I'd one pull at the fly when I was retrieving it. it must have been coming up the, the margins at the side. And it just gave an almighty pull. I was down the lower nutwood, but uh, I've ended up uh, back up here. Still lots of time to get a fish. Come out the water and change the battery in the camera. I've uh, taken off my tube fly and put in a double. The tube fly seems to be attracting a lot of trout. It's quite, quite nice to see as many as trout, as many trout, but uh, been the bum, haven't uh, unhooked them all the time. So I'll just try and have a, a few casts with this down here, and then I'll maybe go for my lunch. And decide where I'm going to attack next. Got 
saw on one. But, uh, say, being a bit head shaking here. Things are a bit bigger than the ones I've had so far. Okay. You know, you can never tell. On the tail fly anyway. Gets quite coloured. They're not with the colour of the water, but the tea stain makes it look coloured, but uh, we'll see if I manage to get it up to the edge of the bank. The nuts going through the eyes of the rod. There's a wee bit down here that I should be able to get its nose up enough to, to get it unhooked. where it's hooked yet. Okay. Got my pliers in my pocket just just in case I can't unhook it with my, my fingers. So I can get hold hold of it and look. Maybe they not flick it off. That's 
to unhook it. See if I can get back in the tip. Now we come up for a shot in between the bridges, and then I'll have a shot in the lower bridge pool. Come up for a shot in between the bridges, and then I'll have a shot in the lower bridge pool. Yeah. The two, the two Bane from one from Newcastle and one from London are down fishing the bottom of the beat to give them peace. And I've decided to carry on here. I've had my rolls, so raring to go. under the road bridge. It's quite deep here. It's uh, probably about six or seven foot deep. The fish tend to lie a wee bit nearer the bottom and at the side. fly there. A lot of people have asked me if they only ever catch steel fish at the back end. Oh, I wish I had this video camera quite a number of years ago. I've caught quite a few bright fish even in the last week. I think three years ago I had one. That was a bar of silver on the 25th of November I think it was marked in the photograph. So I'll maybe try and tag it on to the tail end of uh, this video. It was a late autumn fish.